What is home? Home is a place where people and things originate and can flourish. Home is a place of security where we feel comfort and peace. For the human race and the billions of creatures that live alongside us, planet Earth is our one and only home. The Earth has a voice and that voice is crying out for our help. But we are deaf to those cries. We have lost respect for our home and for the creatures with whom we share it. We take without asking and give nothing in return. How can it be that humans, our planet's most intelligent creatures, are the ones most guilty of causing its destruction? We did not inherit our home from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. If our children are to flourish and live meaningful lives, we must change the way we care for their home. Awareness of the vast and complex challenges the world is facing is the first small step along the road to a resolution. As a brave man once said, It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There are no easy answers or quick fix solutions to the problems we have caused our planet. Change will come only when we begin to make changes to how we live our lives and how we care for our world. In an increasingly dystopian world, our planet needs heroes. Women and men prepared to step up and make a difference to how the future of our planet plays out. Heroes who will use their time and resources to make a real difference, to make life on Earth better, one small step at a time. The Mirpuri Foundation was established for precisely that purpose. We believe that creating a sustainable future for the world comes first, ahead of politics and profit. We support programs aimed at solving the world's problems by allocating the right resources to where they are most needed and can do the most good. We use our extensive network and myriad of international relationships to help foster a spirit of collaboration between global authorities, commercial organizations, local communities and individuals to positively impact the most pressing issues threatening our planet. Through a broad portfolio of projects around the world, we help raise awareness and create solutions in the fields of marine and wildlife conservation, medical education and research, aeronautical education and research, social responsibility and the performing arts. Our headquarters are in Lisbon, Portugal, historically one of the greatest maritime cities in the world. And for us, there is no more pressing concern than the rapidly deteriorating health of the world's oceans. In this area, we have aligned ourselves closely with the United Nations efforts to avoid the destruction of marine ecosystems and have established several programs like our Save the Coral Reefs and Save the Oceans initiatives, as well as our high-profile Clean Seas and Turn the Tide on Plastic campaigns. With the support of Mirpuri Foundation Ambassadors and the HiFly Airline, we are helping to spread those campaigns' messages across the world. Recently, our involvement in several high-profile projects has played a significant role in bringing the world's attention to the scourge of the plastic pollution that is devastating the world's oceans. The Portuguese Mirpuri Foundation, like Sky Ocean Rescue, one of the sponsors of the mission. Unchecked, the deteriorating state of our oceans will have a serious detrimental effect on the world's wildlife populations, the global economy, as well as the health of the human population. In 2017, we founded the Turn the Tide on Plastic Yacht Racing Team to take part in the Volvo Ocean Race, the world's premier professional around the world yacht race. And the christening of the racing yacht was attended by the Portuguese Minister of Economy. The team, as well as Mirpuri Foundation's role as the principal sustainability partner to the Volvo Ocean Race, helped draw massive worldwide attention to the plastic pollution problem. Yes, gentlemen. We simply must maintain that level of pressure if we are 
to use what I understand is the name of one of your boats, going to turn the tide on plastic. As well as creating awareness, the team gathered valuable data on the levels of microplastic content in the water as they raced through some of the most remote areas of the world's oceans. This is the first time a microplastic analyzer has been installed on any vessel. We had it running down in the Southern Ocean and it was pretty scary, the data that came back from there. It was the first time that they'd proven that there was actual, actually microplastics that far south. It was the first time this kind of analysis had been possible and the data the team produced shocked the environmental community by revealing previously undetected traces of plastics in the waters close to Antarctica and at Point Nemo, the furthest point on the planet from civilization. The findings were shared at a series of ocean summits around the world, with further exposure resulting from the Turn the Tide on Plastic project partnering with international TV broadcaster Sky as part of a Sky Ocean Rescue campaign. After new research found that plastic pollution has now spread to every part of the planet. Plastic was found in samples taken from around the world by the crew of the yacht Turn the Tide on Plastic. Helping amplify the ocean plastic message even further, the Miapuri family-owned Highfly airline, which itself will be plastic-free by 2019, rebranded one of its A330 aircraft in livery matching that of the Turn the Tide on Plastic racing yacht. The global impact of the Turn the Tide on Plastic initiative resulted in the campaign being awarded the best corporate campaign or initiative at the prestigious Beyond Sports Awards in New York. Mirpuri Foundation executives are also regularly involved in beach and ocean cleans, as well as contributing to and supporting international conferences such as the Volvo Ocean Races Ocean Summits, Greenfest, Waterlogic, EcoCashKaish, and the Consumer Goods Forum. In the area of terrestrial conservation, we have identified several major dangers to our planet's wildlife, such as global warming illegal hunting, pollution and deforestation and we support a range of projects that are having a positive impact in these areas. We support Lisbon Zoo's program to reintroduce the Persian leopard to the Caucasus region and are also funding three expeditions to photograph the Persian leopard in its natural habitat. In addition, we are supporting the training of a Portuguese vet from the Lisbon Zoo in a special technique for assisted fertilization that will further increase the chances of breeding for endangered species. Closer to home, a program is in place to reverse the critically low numbers of wild rabbit in the Alentejo region of Portugal, an initiative that we hope will prevent its extinction and have a knock-on effect on the survival of unique predators, such as the Iberian lynx and the golden and Iberian imperial eagles. To raise awareness around the issue of global warming, Mirpuri Foundation President and Founder Paolo Mirpuri, along with the Foundation Ambassador Luis Mirpuri, hiked to Everest to observe firsthand the effect of changes in our planet's climate. The expedition's first-hand observations revealed the Kumbu Glacier and Icefall are receding at an alarming rate due to decreased snowfall and higher average temperatures melting the ice. We are also working to establish long-term sustainable waste management facilities in the Everest area, as well as driving a new code of conduct for all future trekking in the area. We also support several medical education and research programs, including anti-aging research aimed at improving the quality of life for older members of the world's population. We are also conducting research in the field of aviation into understanding human behavior and performance to optimize the fit between people and the systems in which they work to help improve safety and performance. The research and results of these studies will be made available for the benefit of the global community. In the field of aviation, we support education and research that will contribute to the safety and progress of the industry in a sustainable way. This includes research into human behavior and performance in flight situations, with the aim of better understanding the effects of fatigue on an aircraft's crew and how best to mitigate the associated risks. We sponsor the Highfly Academy, which trains and prepares Airbus pilots and flight attendants as well as offering bursaries for students who demonstrate high potential but have limited financial resources. We are also busy developing the modern Mirpuri Foundation Innovation Center 
that includes a new state-of-the-art training center and a spectacular air and space museum. And we are also driving an innovative research project to reduce significantly aircraft carbon and fuel emissions. Both the Mirpuri Foundation and the Mirpuri family have a strong commitment to social responsibility through philanthropy, ethical labor practices, volunteering, and efforts to support environmental sustainability. We believe passionately in giving back and encourage companies and businesses across our broad network to do the same. Our foundation is involved in education programs that enable young people without the financial means to achieve their full potential. And we have established a Migrants Observatory which provides independent timely analysis of refugee migration data. We are also committed to supporting cultural endeavours for the development and education through the arts. We assisted the National Museum of Theatre and Dance in Lisbon with the restoration of the famous theatrical machinery and we offer awards in the fields of dance, music and theatre to help promote international cultural activities of the highest level of excellence. As a further commitment in this area, the Foundation funds an international scholarship in the field of performing arts. The world is crying out for our help. But in our headlong rush to consume all its beauty, diversity and wondrous natural resources, we are deaf to her cries. Technology, industry and travel have all become essential parts of our everyday lives, which we take for granted without ever questioning the terrible cost to our planet. Who then will be the heroes to stand tall in support of our planet and to protect our children's future home? Who will be the ones brave or crazy enough to try to create the changes our world needs to survive? Our society is at a crossroads and the time for action is now. For better or for worse, the decisions this generation makes today will determine the future of life on our planet.